Mr. President, this is a difficult day for the city of Boston. Yesterday, Boston lost two courageous firefighters who gave up their lives battling a terrible fire in the city's back bay. When others flee, our firefighters rush headlong into danger, concerned only for the safety of others. They put their lives on the line every time. Today, we mourn the loss of two brave men, two heroes who made the ultimate sacrifice. Lieutenant Eddie Walsh and Firefighter Mike Kennedy were highly respected and committed members of the Boston Fire Department who dedicated their lives to keeping our families safe. Firefighter Kennedy of Ladder Company 15 on Boylston Street was a member of the Boston Fire Department for six and a half years. He grew up in Roslindale, served our country as a U.S. Marine Corps combat veteran in Iraq, and was a first responder to the Boston Marathon attacks last year. He wanted to run in this year's marathon, so to be admitted, he wrote an essay about his experiences responding to the marathon bombing. He had been in training for the big day, but he won't be running this year. Lieutenant Walsh served on Engine 33, also based at the Boylston Street Fire Station. He was a firefighter in Boston for nine and a half years and lived in West Roxbury with his wife, Kristen, and their three young kids. Lieutenant Walsh came from a firefighting family and followed in the footsteps of his father and his uncle, both of whom served on the Watertown Fire Department. He will be missed. I know I speak on behalf of the city of Boston and the people of Boston when I say that all our thoughts and prayers are with Lieutenant Walsh's and Firefighter Kennedy's families at this very difficult time. Boston is deeply grateful to Lieutenant Walsh, to Firefighter Kennedy, to all our policemen, firefighters, and first responders who put their lives at risk to protect our families every single day, and to all our firefighter families that face the risk that a loved one will rush into a burning building and give up everything to keep all of us safe. Thank you, Mr. President. I suggest the absence of a quorum.